But right now, we are back at Animal Kingdom for nighttime activities. It's not gonna happen, but maybe we'll stumble into a test for Rivers of Light. Uh, mainly we're here for nighttime safari, which we have a fast pass for, and for Everest at night. And then Tree of Awakening, and that's it. security and Courtney and Quinn realized they do not have their magic bands with them uh, so we're able to come to guest relations for future reference if you get your magic band go to guest relations uh, and she's just putting us on like a card like a hard ticket for the rest of the day so we can do our fast pass and we can get in the park and should be good It's just beautiful, just just lit up. Yeah. Being an animal kingdom that night and not being a thousand degrees in here is enough to make it worth it. It's always so hot here and without the sun it's much more enjoyable. Now for a fast pass, nighttime safari. Cannot protect our animals from the most dangerous threat of all. Hold on. Alright, how many? Two. Row three. Row three. Row five. Thank you. Got it? Yeah. This is quite a sweet deal we got here. Yeah. Jump right in. And we still have an hour. 
Seven twenty-six. Oh, it's eight thirty, right? Yeah, we still we need to, we gotta get a picture, like first thing out okay. here. Shanti Shana, thank you, Warden. And also say here in Harambe to win the Irish Beats. Let's go. Our Jumbo friends, my name is Jose and I'll be your safari tour guide for tonight's journey through the Harambe Wildlife Reserve. And if you're taking any pictures, make sure to have those cameras out and ready. Also, please hold on tight to those and any other loose articles you might have with you because if anything falls out of the vehicle, unfortunately, I'm not allowed to stop to pick it up. Also, done. Now, over on the right side, you can see an Okabe all the way back there by the fence. It's a little hard to see, but you can kind of see the silhouette. Now, the Okabe's were thought to be related to the zebra. Right? When they were found in 1901 because of the zebra-like stripes. They're actually not related to the zebra. They're related to the giraffe. Right here, we'll be driving by the Nile crocodiles, which are the largest of all crocodiles here in Africa. They average about 16 feet in length, about 500 pounds in weight. They can also live to be about 40 years. So they're in Coley cattle and they're large hordes. Also, there's a tiny little spring buck laying. There's something over here, man. It's a spotted hyena. It's actually two of them. And spotted hyenas are led by females. The lowest ranking female is actually higher ranking than the highest ranking male. Spotted hyenas are also the only mammals that are born with their eyes open, also emerging teeth. And on the right side, you can see a herd of wildebeest. So right now you're seeing the yellow eyes from the sunset that we have here. Those are also known as new. It sounds that. like new. They get that name from the sound they make. And they're migratory animals. They tend to migrate 500 to 1,000 miles just one year. With the long horns are called being lonely cattle. They're also known as the Egyptian long horn cattle. Oh, yeah. They're about six feet tall when born, but they can grow to be about 20 feet tall when fully grown, making it the tallest animal in the world. Uh, they're usually found in groups, and their groups are made out of females and their babies. The oldest largest female in the group is also usually the leader. The male ones leave the herd as soon as they reach adulthood, which is at about 13 years of age. Well, they're usually found in brides, which is the name given to a group of lions. We should be seeing some more lions around here. <laughs> Two lionesses coming oh, up on the left side, right here, here, right next to each other. Listen. See the females over there? I'm looking at them, I'm getting dress. Now the females are the ones that do most of the hunting. They also hunt in groups and that's because their prey is usually much faster than them. The male lions see behind. Ooh. Look out for their cubs and their territory. Five 
Alright. Let us other. Alright guys. Nighttime Animal Kingdom, two for two. Nighttime Safari was cool. Didn't see as many animals as we did this morning. But uh the fake sunset and the fake moonlight thing. Really cool. Um yeah, should definitely do it. It's much better here at night too because there's so much cooler. Yeah, it's so much cooler and there's less people and oh this it's just great. So we just did Nighttime Everest, the Everest at night, twice in a row. It's amazing. It's like a completely different ride. Like the whole thing's in the dark and I don't know, it's great. If you're around at night, even though Rivers of Light did not start, unfortunately. Um, yeah, it was worth it. Yeah, it was worth it. The, the Tree Awakening's beautiful and the, the Nighttime Safari is really cool even though we didn't see as many animals as we would have liked to. Um, and Everest at night, it's like all dark. There's only a few places that's lit, so it's like riding the whole thing in the dark. It's great. It's awesome. And of course, like we walked on back to back each time. It's great. I think that's it for tonight, though. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah, we find a table.